Yeah, I mean, I think um, one of the ideas we're working on now is that the strength of your clock actually is a very important component to overall health. I mean, we, we already talked about examples of how dysfunctional clocks lead to metabolic defects, but uh, on the other side, there's a positive side. So, for example, we've tested the idea that, well, let me take one step back, um, where the amplitude of cycling genes goes down, and our interpretation is the clock is getting weaker as we get older. Uh, and so when you have a weak clock, you know, you, that leads to metabolic problems, uh, as we discussed before. So the idea we're working on is what if we could boost the clock, make it yeah. stronger uh, with age, would that have health and longevity benefits? So we've, we've just finished that experiment. We have done that uh, genetically with a mouse that has extra copies of the clock gene. Hmm. Uh, and we found two amazing results. One is they live longer. They live 16% longer. Um, they eat actually more than their normal controls, hmm. but they weigh less. So, <laughs> you know, the naive interpretation of that is somehow their metabolism is just better and more efficient. Yeah, and then when we challenge them with high fat diet, they're actually resistant to weight gain. So they don't gain weight as readily in response to the diets that cause normal mice to gain. So they're, we think they're metabolically more resilient by making their circadian clock stronger mm -hmm. and they live longer.